Now, Wumpa Coins in Crash Team Racing Nitro Field is actually much more easier to earn right now compared to last time during the Grand Prix. And I know I'm probably really really late on this video, but I still have people asking me in my Discord or even in my videos on how to earn Wumpa Coins. And I've also realized that I've never actually made any videos talking about Wumpa Coins in CTR Nitro Field. So I've thought to myself, hey, better late than never and why not I make an updated video on how to earn Wumpa Coins in CTR right now. I know there are a lot of new players getting into the game, so first of all, welcome and check out my guides for the game in the description down below. And this video is mainly for those wanting to earn Wampa coins still, and not so much if you've already bought everything from the pit stop because why would you need more, right? And by the way, comment down below if you're new or you're just watching this video for the heck of it. Now, let's start off with what are the best ways to earn Wumpa Coins. Personally, I think the first thing you should do when you log into the game is to start playing online matches and play those tracks that are considered to be hard or really long. Now, I'm not talking about Crash Cove or Coco Park or even Inferno Island, that sort of tracks. I'm talking about tracks like Drive Through Danger, Deep Sea Driving or even Electron Avenue. Which, by the way, Electron Avenue, super easy track, super fun to maintain blue fire on and it gives out a ton of Wumpa coins all the way up to 800 in fact and i'll actually show you how to reach the 800 wumpa coins mark later in the video but yeah play longer or tracks that are considered to be top tier because first of all they have the highest base coins you can earn and second of all the game has a multiplayer called wumpa time and what wumpa time does is every day for the first 30 minutes of you actually racing in an online lobby you get to earn five times the wumpa coins from that race alone and obviously the higher your position is in that race, the more Wumba coins you actually earn. For example, let's go back to Electron Avenue just for this example alone. If you get first place in Electron Avenue, you basically get 80 Wumba coins as a base value. And if you are still within that 30 minutes Wumba time buff, multiply that by 5 and you will get about 400 coins. Now you can actually take this a step further by playing on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. Why? Because playing on Fridays and the weekends basically doubles the amount of coin you earn as well. So at the end of the day, take 400 coins from Electron Avenue from getting first place, times that by 2 and you got 800 coins. And that is all just in one race. And you don't even need first place. Second place, third place or even fourth place is fine too. As long as you play on longer tracks, the amount of Wompa coins will be very worth it. Now, does that mean that longer tracks are generally the best option to race in? Not really. The reason why tracks like Drive Through Danger or Electron Avenue is so good is because you can complete them faster with Blue Fire. And that actually saves a ton of time. Compared to, let's say, Tiny Arena, while yes, it does give a lot of Wompa coins in the end, but because it takes forever to finish the 3 laps, I generally avoid this in online lobbies because I feel that isn't really worth my time. And I tend to steer away from that track if I'm actually aiming to earn Wumpa coins. Now on the other hand, Android Alley is actually another great track to earn Wumpa coins on. While the base Wumpa coin you get from here is not as much as Electron Avenue, but it is still considered as a top tier track to earn Wumpa coins in, basically because of how much faster you can complete it. The payout at the end is actually pretty damn good, and if you're talking about adding in the 5 times Wumpa time and the 2 times weekend bonus, you're seeing to up about 680 Wumpa coin per race and lesser time than Electron Avenue if you get first place in Android Alley. And then again, you don't have to get first place. Second, third or fourth place is actually fine because the base coin value from Android Alley is actually quite high. So personally, I feel that you should vote for tracks like Electron Avenue and Android Alley in online lobbies if you get a chance to. If you want more info on the calculations of which tracks to race on, I'll put the full version of every tracks in the link in the description down below if I can find the latest version of it. Now besides playing the online mode, utilizing the Wumpa Time multiplier and also the Weekend multiplier, what else can you do to actually get more Wumpa coins? Well, ever since the final update kicked in back in March, you have Wumpa challenges now, which basically needs you to complete a series of challenges and they will give you Wumpa coins as a reward. And I feel that these are actually pretty fun to do and it is a good source of additional income to actually earn. And the best part is they actually reset daily and even weekly so you have no shortages of challenges and coins at all. Now if you are new to the game, I can say that you are extremely lucky to join the game right now because back in the day, during the Grand Prix, we didn't have many options to earn Wumpa coins. 
besides grinding in online matches, all that sort of stuff. So there you go, this is how you can actually earn Wumpa Coins fast right now in CTR Nitro Field. If you have any other matters that I failed to actually mention, please comment and suggest down below. It would really be a great help for those who actually needs it and you might end up being in the next comment of the day in my next video. Do subscribe if this helped you out and like the video as well because that is great for the YouTube algorithm. Also a quick thanks to the supporters of the channel, you guys are simply amazing. And while you're still here, check out the best tracks to actually practice on in CTR Nitro Field on the left side here. Or click on the right side for my full developer times guide for every hard tracks in the game. I'm sure that it will help you out greatly in the long run. This is the Viper signing off, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.